So everybody knows the Gundam marker as the chrome pin of excellence uh, for doing touch up and <clears throat> something we use all the time in the modeling world. Very, very good. Tends to be a little bit expensive. This uh, at Hobby Lobby, for example, this runs $13, $14. Somewhere along the line, the Molotov chrome pin came up as a cheaper alternative. So if you go to Hobby Lobby, each one of these size, there's a two, uh, let's see, is it one, two, and three millimeter? I think that's right. Yeah, one, two, and three uh, as a cheaper alternative. But if you go to Hobby Lobby, for example, just the uh, just one of these is about ten ninety nine. Now, if you go to Amazon, you can get the set of three for about twenty two dollars, which is a much better deal than one of these and only one size for 14. So that's a good step. <coughs> but what if there was an even better option? We're gonna find out. So I found this on Amazon. This is the Flycia, Flycy, I have no idea. Uh, 1.7 and three millimeter marker set. And I paid $13 and some change for all three markers. But is it as good? Well. Let's find out. Okay, so like I said, I'm a bit of a cheap bastard and I'm always looking for a way to do things just as well, but for a cheaper amount of money. I've, I've used the Gundam, I think everybody has, in chrome paint for a long time. It leaves excellent results. Um, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. The tip size on this particular one, I believe is a four millimeter. <coughs> oh shit. Uh, but anyways, we'll give it a little shake there, oops. And dump a little bit out. This one's getting a little low, but you can see, a strong, nice silver. Uh, looks great. Does really good. But at $14 at Hobby Lobby, it's a little expensive. Although I did just check and I think it's on sale right now for $9.99. So it's not a bad option. Then I found out a few years ago, a couple years ago, about Molotov. And I've been happier. So there's a one... Let's see, four millimeter, a two millimeter and a one millimeter option. And if you buy them individually at, um, at Hobby Lobby, they're about 10 to $12 a piece. However, you can get all three on Amazon. Let me look here. I paid 2602 for the last shipment. Uh, that's that shipped to the door. So it's a much cheaper option than this. And you got a variety of sizes. And as far as the finish goes, we'll do a little test run. Give it a good shake. We've got to wait for it to come out, so just bear with me. I'm going to pour me a shot while I'm waiting. Wow, that's slow to come out. And of course, when I'm recording, it takes forever. Probably should have this done ahead of time, but come on. Wow, that's not boating well for this. Nothing like technical difficulties, folks, but them's the brakes. All right, we're starting to come out here. <coughs> Okay, you can start to see a little finish there. So, I feel that it's not quite as shiny and chrome-like as the uh, Gundam marker, but it's pretty close. Part of that could be lighting. Let me see. Yeah, but it's pretty close. Put in a little dab side by side. See, a little, yeah, it, it's pretty close. Close enough that the uh, money saved is well worth it. But then I come across this. This is by a company, 
and I'm just guessing here fly C, uh, but I could be uh, just jacking that um, that up. But it's the chrome paint markers. You get a three pack, a 0.7, a one millimeter, and a three three millimeter tips. But I paid shipped to my house 14.94, so a savings of twelve dollars. But the question is, is it worth it? So we're going to find out. Let me get a uh, knife and a drink and be right back. So let's cut these bad boys open. Actually, that one's the... Okay, that's already opened. And it looks like... And I just opened this. I haven't pre-opened it. It looks like it's already uh, been dabbed a little bit. Maybe I did open it. I don't remember. But there we go. So first inspection, it looks pretty close. That looks just as good as the others. I'm going to try to maneuver the camera in spot here a little bit closer I tell you what that looks damn near the same to me I don't see any difference let me turn yeah yeah you can't I can't tell a difference I'm sitting here in better light I know your my camera is not the best for this sort of thing but I can't see a difference myself and I'm in better light uh, without a camera in front of me so Let's really put these to the paces. So let's start out with just a piece of uh, modeling plastic here. Let's start off with the Gundam and let's give it a little scroll or a little uh, dab. Okay. So if I refract it in the light. That is the Gundam. That is the base layer. That is the one to judge all others by, in my humble opinion. Now let's dry the Molotov. And let's go over the same spot, or the same piece. Okay. Let's give it a little refract in the camera. I'm going to look to make sure you can see that. Folks, I'm seeing an identical, identical finish there. Now, let's try the cheapo. It appears to be possibly a little thinner but I think it may just be the area I was doing it on. Let's try one closer to where the others are and just get a side by side. Okay. Man, that is really close. It may not be quite as no you know what after it dries up a little bit it it's the same i don't see a difference especially for ten dollars for a set of three huh okay well that's interesting all right now let's try a real world example let's do this let's take this body uh let's start off with the gundam and let's do uh Let's do a window frame here. And yes, I know I'm not taking my time and masking off and making it look nice and neat. This is a body that I was in my uh, scrap heap. So let's run a bead across there with the Gundam. And again, let me bring this camera down. Again, it's hard to see with this. You know what? Let me just make it bigger to hell with it. Okay. Very nice chrome finish or as close as the marker will come to give you true chrome. Now let's try the uh, Molotov. Okay. 
same finish. Very happy with that result. Now let's try the El Cheapo, which I can't pronounce, but you get the idea. And I'll leave a link for all these below uh, so you can check them out if you want to. And I am not sponsored by any of these guys, but if they want to reach out, feel free because a brother is broke these days. You know what? At this point, I've got a winner. I will not buy Molotov or Gundam ever again unless I'm just out and need to run by Hobby Lobby and don't have time to wait on um, Amazon. But that that is giving me the exact same finish. I'm very stoked about that. That's awesome. All right, now the test. Let's try a piece of... Uh, Chrome. Let's try it with the Gundam first. Need better lighting in here. I wonder if I can turn that up a little bit. Bear with me, folks. Nope, that's it. Don't light it as bright as it goes. Okay, let's do it on the back side. That's a little easier. Okay, just so you get an idea of the difference between the chrome planing you get in the in a kit versus what a pen does. It's very hard to see, but let me do this. Hold on, folks. Let me see if this helps. Open up the window a little bit, give it a little bit extra. Okay. So, they're very close. I mean, in my humble opinion, the pins give you a slightly more realistic look of chrome than the plastic coated or the chrome plated plastic do in the kits. Um, if you look at the chrome on a real car, they're not quite as um, bright as these. That's why I and a lot of people will uh, put some semi gloss clear over the chrome plastic uh, to give it a little bit more realistic appearance. But, anyways. Here is the mall. Uh, make sure I got the right one. Nope, I didn't. Ah, see there, folks. Real time problems. Here is the Molotov side by side. Same shine, same silver silveriness, if that's a word. It is now. But a little cheaper price. Now, the Fly C, which I still can't pronounce, but. We're going to do that side by side as well. And I don't see a difference. I don't see a damn bit of difference. So at this point, from now on, I'm going to be buying these guys right here for $13. I mean, that is a big difference. For 13 plus shipping, or yeah, 13 plus tax, or I think, yeah, I'm on Amazon Prime, free shipping. Uh, $10 difference for three markers. Yeah, I'm, I'm in on that. That's, that's a winner for me. But what happens when you take a real piece of chrome? And I am not going to use up a, or paint over one of my bigger pieces of chrome. This is a spare uh, tail light bezel off of my uh, 57 Berkeley that I'm going to use here. Uh, it's a little old. I mean, my God, it's uh, 60 years old. Uh, but it is a representation of real chrome. So we're going to take the Gundam. So if you've never done, you've never seen what real chrome paint or chrome paint over real chrome looks like, here's an, here's a, an example. So we're going to take the, uh, and don't do this at home, kids, but I don't give a damn. All right. So just a quick mark. And if you can see that, it's fairly close. I mean, you really got to look to see the difference there. But uh, it's definitely not as bright, not as resilient, not as shiny. But it, it's close enough for scale models that you won't know the damn difference. Now, let's try the Molotov. Same scenario. Right next to that. Put it on thick so it gives it a true coat. See, it's a little dull, but it's really, really close. And if you really wanted to split hairs, by the way, with these paints, 
Um, what I recommend, I mean, if you really, really want to get a true chrome finish or as close as you can, um, I use a, uh, for my airbrushing for uh, real cars, um, I've got some paint made by Alsa Corp, which is extremely expensive, but, but it is very, very close to real chrome, extremely close. But you have to lay down a black base coat um, and then go over it with this chrome, uh, this chrome uh, uh, mixture. And you spray it out just like you would any other spray. And the pigments lay in such a way that it really refracts and really looks incredible. Then you clear coat over that. So if you really want to get a really good um, chrome shine out of these type things, lay down a black base coat, put down the chrome on top of that, and then clear coat it, and you'll get a little bit better. Not enough for me. I, I don't see a big enough difference in these chrome markers to make it worth my while and time, but you can get a better finish out of it. So here's the cheapo, the Fly C. And that is on top of real chrome. And folks, I got to tell you, I am switching from here on out. I am done with Gundam altogether. Um, pretty much done with Marco or uh, Molotov. I will keep them on hand uh, just because I have some. But when it comes to refill time, that is what I'm going with. So let's bring out the box. This is Fly C chrome paint markers and again i'll leave a uh, leave a link in the description below i wish that the big size or the uh, three millimeter was a uh, flat tip if you look at the gundam you notice right here it's got a nice angled flat tip to it whereas this is just like a blunt dull object but uh you know what it really works well i, I forget what the uh what the Molotov looks like. It is, yeah, it's a big blunt end as well, just like the cheapo. So there you go. That's the main price, why the price difference in the Gundam. So if that is something you really, really need, go for it. But if you're just wanting, if you just need the chrome paint and the tip itself is not that big of a deal, I don't see why you would go to that. However, let's just in the name of science, open up the other uh, sizes and take a look at the tips on them yeah this is a little bit obviously more finer of point uh, let's see here well it'd take too long but I have full confidence that it's gonna work as well as the others um, so yeah that's my take on it uh, I have learned something today I hope you have too I here's the uh, Molotov in a smaller size and oh shit oops well I just pulled that one apart at the base oops you guys didn't see that anyways um I don't want to make a make a big mess so yeah if you found this helpful uh please like and subscribe give me the thumbs up it helps me know that you're enjoying what you see uh helps me to make more content uh, I'm going to do it either way even if you don't but if you do it sure helps uh, but yeah, here's the three markers and in my ranking, this is the winner by far, by far and away. Um, ooh, I just made a mess. This, these other two give you great results. I've used them for a long time, but I am officially making the switch to fly C at this point. And I will continue to look for more options. Uh, see if I can't find something better or cheaper. If you know of something, please leave a comment below and hit that like button. Thanks. One last thing, I almost forgot the giveaway for the uh, 66 Nova is over. Uh, I have picked a winner and contacting them as we speak. So thank you for everybody who uh, subscribes and uh, we'll see you next time.